Hello, Jennifer Field with ID8 TV, and here I am with Jeannie Sakata, who played the lead, Tomi, and I just have to say that I really enjoyed your performance tonight. Thank you uh, so much. You did such a great job. I really thought that you made your character endearing and relatable, even though she was sort of, you know, kind of, you know, had a little self-pride, was, you know, a little vain. I really thought that you handled the right, vain. or very vain. <laughs> And you handled it really well. Thank you, thank you. Well, yes. Tomi is somebody I think that we all know, you yeah. know, especially in show business. You know, she's very concerned with, you know, how she looks and appearances and um, how she comes across uh, and how attractive she is, you know, in spite of getting older, she wants to be younger, eternally young. But in this play, she's really hiding a lot of pain. There's genuine pain and grief over losing her son. So that really gave a lot, of, a lot of depth to her journey this time around, which I hope is coming across. Yes, that was, it was really, the, the story was great, the writing, uh, the directing, the, the entire production was really uh, well done. So was there a favorite part that you'd like to share? Or maybe a silly story oh, backstage? Well, you know, the yoga scene is one that I rarely make it through without cracking up. <laughs> Because every time we do it, there is something that somebody does that sets me off laughing. And um, I just have to try and use it. But I've cracked up many times in that scene. And I think the audience has cracked up with me. But I think my favorite moment in the play really is the hula scene. Because I didn't know very much about hula when we were rehearsing. And we learned so much about what a spiritual experience it is and how the dance is used to tell a personal story in, in such an intimate way, but such a beautiful way. And so whenever we do that scene, it spiritually uplifts me. It's funny, but it's also deeply personal. And we're so lucky that we have Tui Asao, you know, who's recently starred in Kale Wolfer's film, The Haumana, because he plays this kumu so beautifully. And, and uh, you know, here I am on stage with my three dear friends, Kyle Fisher and Emily Croden and um, June Kyokalu. So we've had a great history with this play. And I heard. Uh -huh. Yeah, to come mm -hmm. to that moment in the hula scene together is very, very profound and meaningful to us. <laughs> uh, any projects uh, upcoming for next year that you want to share? Well, I am also a playwright. I've written a solo show about uh, Gordon Hirabayashi who was one of um, three men who legally challenged the mass incarceration of Japanese Americans during World War II. Uh, we had a premiere of the show here in 2007 um, at East West Players with Ryan Yu, directed by Jessica Kabzanski. And we had our New York premiere last year with Joel De La Fuente, uh, directed by Lisa Rothi. So we have future plans for both of these shows to take them to different cities. Oh, and great. In the coming year, we're hoping to go to Seattle. We'll be in Philadelphia, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. So I'm hoping to be involved with that and also write a second play. Wow. you got to do a performance of that uh, production in the Bay Area, which is where I'm from. That is on my list. Yeah, they would right love that. Right there at the top of my list. Yeah. So, Awesome. So I'll tell you as soon as we got it. I will keep my ears and eyes open for that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.